It's like a, a pool. Hey, welcome to the channel for a one take review on the Burgundy Ball putting mat. Hey, on the website it says perfect feedback provides perfect practice, and you know that's what I wanted to achieve down here. I wanted something to practice my putting, uh, to get my ball started on the line, and actually feel as if I'm, I'm sinking putts. So I pulled the trigger on this. It's not a sponsored review. Uh, I'm into this thing for about two hundred and forty dollars. That was for the mat plus the contour kit which is supposed to, you can simulate different breaks of different putts uh, to, to get that practice in. Now, for the product itself, um, hey, I think it's a good product, but certainly with some shortcomings and a little bit of disappointment along the way. I'll, I'll show you this actually right here. This is a, a cutout of the mat itself. It's a half inch piece of foam. One side of it is slick, just like that, and then the other side is kind of roughed up to simulate your stem. Uh, on the website, you can pick the different stems, uh, slow, medium, or fast. I went with the medium stem, and I can tell you it, it rolls really, really fast. And just overall, the quality too, I, I think I was expecting a little bit more. Um, I think the foam is fine, but I, I would have really liked to see maybe like a, a, a glue to maybe like a rubberized you know, backing or something like that to give it just a little bit more weight, made it feel a little bit more quality. But it's like a, it's basically like you're, you're putting on a pool noodle. You're, you're putting on a roughed up pool noodle. So how does it putt? Overall, it rolls true. Like it does roll true. Uh, I like the way it feels. You can certainly uh, feel like you're starting your ball line. It does roll true. My garage has a slight slope going towards the middle door over here. And I can really feel like it starts rolling. It starts on a good roll, but you can see I mean, I barely even tap that one, and this is about a, a five foot putt. So it rolls super, super fast. And with the depth of the cups, which would only be a half inch, if you have any type of pace on that, it just pops and rolls out of the cup. Now, granted, that might happen on the course too. You can say that's you know practicing your pace control, which is you know ideal because you, you do want the ball to kind of die to the cup, but this is at a different kind of level. It's not quite to what I imagine it being on the course. Like you really have to get the pace pretty much right on point in order to keep that ball in the hole with the putting mat. Get the other ball that one. Now, as far as that goes, really enjoy it. Uh, just working on those type of putts right there, three foot, five foot, six foot, almost to the, to the length of it getting my ball started online, all that stuff. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Now, where I think this kind of starts getting into the gimmicky category is when you add on those contour kits. So you get these other strips. It's a, I think it was a $40 charge for the contour strips. And what you're supposed to do with these guys wow, 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 wow. is um, you place them underneath the mat so that way it adds elevation changes in the mat. So if I pick this up here, I slide it under this side over here. Well now when I put on this side, I should have a left to right break coming along this side over here. We can go ahead and do that. So I should now, if I tap this ball, and again I have to tap it because it's so fast, it should break more left to right coming off that edge. And you see that it kind of does that. Now, in terms of practicing that with the birdie ball mat, I just don't see the value. In it. Um, every course, you know, the greens, the grass, the grains are different, and I don't think putting the contour kit in there down here in the garage is really going to make the determining factor of me making that putt out there on the course. I, I think you know, when practicing putting, just in general. The most important thing is ensuring that you're starting the ball on the line you intend at the speed you intend to do it. Um, so having these strips in here, I, I don't, I haven't really used these. Um, I probably would have skipped this knowing that. But what I do like is they do have these different kind of hole reducers that you can put in there for kind of that um, aim small, miss small mentality. So you can put the hole reducers in there. Uh, to make the, the hole smaller, I have one in the opposite side right here. So let's see if we can drain one of those. 
you're kind of just aim small, miss small, kind of really kind of dialing in that line, that pace to try to try to get that cut, and then just kind of basically just ball gold size. Wow. Also, you need another. So let that one up there. You see, I just I just barely tapped that one. It felt like I barely tapped it. And I mean, that would have ran probably another five, six feet uh, on this stem. So I would recommend just to sum it up, I think it's a good product. Um, definitely something that you can work on your putting. It does roll very, very true. Um, but I would recommend skipping the contour kit, uh, getting the lowest stem that they offer. And then just getting creative with the inserts that they already provide you with your initial buy to get the whole review series and that type of stuff. Um, save your foot forty dollars on the contour kit. And don't worry about it. Oh, all right. Well, one take review. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Weekly live streams. Join me there. We'll see you in those next video, guys. Cheers. Peace.